my name is Javed and I'm a student. Uh, I would like to ask a question. At one place, the Holy Quran states that man is created from sperm, which is inconsolate with modern science. But at another place, it also states that man is made from dust. Now, isn't the Holy Quran contradicting itself? Or is it consulate with modern science? The brother posed the question that one place the Holy Quran says that human beings have been created from sperm, which consulates with modern science. The other place, human being is created from dust. Can you prove it scientifically it's created from dust? And isn't there a contradiction? One place sperm, one place it says dust. The Holy Quran does say, as I mentioned in my talk, in Surah Qiyama, chapter 75, verse number 37 to 39, it says that human beings have been created from sperm, which has been proved by science. The Holy Quran also says in Surah Hajj, chapter 22, verse number 5, that we have created the human beings from a quintessence of dust. Today science tells us that all the elements that are there in the human body, they are present in lesser or greater quantity in the soil, in the earth. So the statement that human beings have been created from earth is scientifically proven. That whatever components are there in the human body, the constituent, the elements, they are present in the earth, in the soil, in lesser or greater proportion. The second part of the question, isn't it a contradiction? One place the Quran says man is created from sperm, one says from dust. Is it a contradiction? See, a contradiction is two statements which are conflicting with each other, which cannot take place simultaneously. The Quran does not only say man has been created from sperm and the other place from dust, it also says in Surah Furqan, chapter 25, verse 54, that man has been created from water. So you will tell me that three contradictions. See, science has proven that man has been created from dust as well as from sperm as well as from water. If I tell you in one statement that to make a cup of tea, I require water. In the second statement I say to make a cup of tea, I require tea leaves or tea powder. It's not a contradiction. I require both. If I want to make sweet tea, I add sugar to it. If I want to make panicum tea, I add less water and more milk. If I want to make Suleimani tea, I add only water. So there is no contradiction when the Quran says human being is created from sperm and dust and water. It is actually contradistinction. What is the meaning of contradistinction? Contradistinction means speaking two or more things about a subject which are not conflicting with each other. For example, if I say that this man is honest, he is kind and loving, it is contradistinction. But if I say this man is always a liar and a truthful person, then it's contradiction because both are opposing. If it's not opposing, it's called as contradistinction.